Hi everyone, it's Julia from Julia's Bento here and today I'm going to share with you how I put my Midori Traveler's Notebook together. I know I covered this before in one of my earlier um, Midori videos, not that I've made that many videos, but um, uh, cut me a break. I, I've just started doing these videos so um, I think I was a little bit nervous and I blew through it really fast. So I've had a few requests on um, slowing down and breaking down how I put mine together. Uh, I guess the interest is because um, I dealt with the bulk in a little bit of a different manner, uh, considering I have four, I fit four notebooks inside, plus a, a few accessories. So um, here it is. But before I do, I thought I'd share with you the new little charm that I got. It's an owl. It's so cute. And I'm sure it'll change again in the future, but um, there it is. <laughs> so here's your the, the original Midori's notebook, right? Um, so you have your leather flap, and inside of it, you'll see the two leather or the two elastic bands. My concern is going to be always with the top one, and anything I put in will always be between the top one and the bottom bit. So now that being said. Here's your top center piece. You're going to choose the notebook that you're going to want in your center. Um, you can look at it as maybe your second notebook in the middle. So for me, that's my, my uh, craft notebook here, number two. This is going to be my center piece. And so this is the one I'm going to slide in between the top elastic band and the bottom elastic band inside of the Midori. So now, always think of this as your centerpiece, and anything and everything that you're going to fit now is going to go in between those two bands. And the way you can look at it is, you're going to fit a flap inside. What I mean by that is, if you look at this credit card holder, which is my next bit that I'm going to add in, it's a flap. There's two pieces. So now I take this and I slide it underneath my centerpiece and then here you go it's like a taco right so now this is my centerpiece but before I go into the next step that I show you how I deal with the other two notebooks so this is where that rubber band does come in handy and you take the first notebook that you're gonna want in the front and um, just like they tell you grab your center point for me it's my sketch notebook here and you take your center point and you know you add your elastic like you normally do. So now your elastic is exposed in the back bit. And then you take the notebook that you're going to want at the very end, which is my writing notebook, and you fit that on the other side, again in the middle, on the other side of that exposed elastic band. So now you have one elastic band and you've created another flap. So now I take this flap, and again, my Midori notebook, um, which is upside down right now. <laughs> and then I grab this, and again, this is my center point, and I fit the flap underneath the center point, underneath the elastic. So now everything is hinging off of that one elastic. All right, so now this is your middle piece. We close it. This is where generally people, you know, kind of end their, their three notebooks, which is nice. It does work out. Then I like to add another accessory, which is the zipper accessory. I love this thing. So now I take the zipper accessory, and again, it's a flap. So I take my middle piece, grab it, grab hold of it. I take my flap, and I put it in between those two elastic bands again. Pull it through, and adjust it. So now we have this. So where does the fourth notebook come in play? Well, I'll show you. Remember the little sticky, sticky note thing um, folder that I had? It actually works quite well with the leather. It won't pull off unless I'm sure I like rip it off, but 
I've been using it with this notebook you know, taking it in and out, in and out, and I've had no problems with it so, whatsoever. So I definitely recommend getting one of these if you want to add the fourth notebook. And so how did I do that? Um, kind of like the checkbook idea. Um, for me, this is a planner, the Midori planner. Um, I love it to pieces. It's very, you know, convenient and portable in the sense that because I'm utilizing it this way, which is you take your back flap and you stick it in this folder, kind of like a checkbook, like so. Now I could take this and take just my planner out when I need to just do like quick groceries and things like that because I don't want to take the bulk of my Midori. Yes, my Midori. Sometimes you just need convenience, so I'll just take my planner out and it's really, it just, this, this, is really working out for me because when I have it laid out at my desk and I still want my Midori attached, I you know this will lay flat on one side and it's fine because you know this is your your planner you need to see your to do list your um and then for me at the end of the week I'll throw in some pictures and things like that you know um so this is what's been working for me and if you look at here let me adjust here if you look at it what happens is because this now the spine of this notebook is not in the center you've also um, kind of cleaned up some of the bulk that happens in the middle if you added all four plus all the rubber bands that they usually suggest so here it is what it looks like when it's you know put together and I will show you when the bands on it's actually not too bad So here it is with the, ooh, my owl. Here it is with the band on. Here's the side view. How it looks. It's not, it's not too bad. And then um, sometimes I have the Midori pen clip here. And I'm sure you've seen with all my high tech C's kind of hanging off of it. When I have it in my purse and I want a little bit more security, I'll just tuck the pens underneath this elastic band. And because of the natures of the, you know, the, the notebooks inside have a ridge, the pens kind of fit quite nicely and in between, which is what I found really nice. Um, and it secures my pen so it doesn't go flying off inside of my purse. So there you have it. This is my, the way I put my Midori together. Um, I hope that it's a little clearer this time. But if you have any questions, please feel free to like leave some comments and um, I'll try to, you know, clarify some things. Um, but if you just go to, you know, my Julia, juliasbento.com and uh, in the search box, search up Midori. I do have a few pictures that may clarify, like, you know, where the bands are and so forth and so on. But hopefully this worked out for you. And until next time, thanks for stopping by Julius Bento. Take care and have a great Easter. Bye.